This is MathGuy.com. My name is Mark Caradimos. Today we're going to talk about the midpoint formula. In this video, there's going to be three sections. We're going to talk about what the formula is. We're going to talk about how to solve a problem with uh, an example and another example. All right, let's get started. All right, so uh, in our first section here, we're going to talk about what the formula is. So uh, if we're given two points, and we're going to call the two points, we're going to use x's and y's to describe the two points, because every point has an x and a corresponding y value. Now, there are usually, well, there is two endpoints and uh, of a segment, and we usually find the midpoint of that segment. So since there's two endpoints, we call the first endpoint x1, y1, we call the second endpoint x2, y2. And there you go. So we have our two endpoints. If we're given two endpoints and we want to find the midpoint of the segment, we're going to use the formula. So the midpoint formula says that you're going to add the x values divided by 2. We add the y values. and divide by 2. So when we add the x values and divide by 2, that is the x value of our midpoint. When we add the y values and divide by 2, that answer will be the y value of our midpoint. And there you go. That's what the midpoint formula is. So we would say that if this point right here represents point A, and if this point represents point B, we have ourselves a generic statement for saying A and B, then this formula will tell us what M is. And M, of course, is this point that's directly halfway between A and B. Or in other words, point M will break up segment AB into two congruent segments. Because the distance from M to B has got to be equal to the distance from M to A. All right. So let's use this formula on a few examples. In this section, we're going to check out an example. So let's say we're given two points with actually had specific values. Instead of our definition of midpoint, we had letters to show the numbers. Well, let's say we have these two numbers. Let's say this is negative 4 and negative 7. So we're going to call this point A. Let's call this point B. What we want to do is figure out where's the midpoint of this segment. All right, well, the formula says that we're supposed to add the x values. Okay, well, the x values are 6 and negative 4, so we're going to add them and divide by 2. And we're going to do the same thing for the y values. So we have negative 3 plus negative 7. We're going to divide those by 2. You'll notice that we're just taking the average of the x values and the average of the y values, specifically the mean the mean average. Okay, so let's actually do this. So 6 plus negative 4, that is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Let's take negative 3 plus negative 7, that is negative 10, which we have to divide by 2, which is negative 5. So now it turns out that these values that you know I kind of poked around in this formula to come up with, it turns out that that is actually a point. And this point represents, of course, the midpoint. So what I did is I found point M. So if we were to graph this thing, this point A would be somewhere over here. And point B would be 4 to the left, 7 down. we got a point B that would be something like this on a coordinate system. If we were to draw the segment between them, we have now just located where point M is. M is right smack dab in between. Okay, there you go. So there's our first example. All right, let's move on to our second example. And then let's start with two points again. So here's a point which I'm going to call point A. And here's a point which I'm going to call point B, 5, 4. Say we're going to calculate the midpoint. Okay, so we found out that the midpoint is just a point in itself. So we take the x values, 
add them and divide by 2. Then we do the same thing for the y values. So I take 7 and 4, add them and divide by 2. I'm just finding the mean of the x values and the mean of the y values. Okay, so where is m? Let's see, if I add those, I'm getting 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. If I add these, I get 11. 11 divided by 2 is 5.5. And there you have it. So I found the midpoint of segment AB. All right, so that's it. Make sure you go back to mathguide.com. Check out our uh, interactive quizzes, our instructional videos, and our text-based lessons. Take care.